So look what I got here. It's Friday and UPS just dropped off my brand new Apple Watch Ultra. Be honest with you, I had totally forgotten that I was going to get it this week. Somehow I thought it's going to be next week, but that's besides the point. I have already dropped a video. I'm going to link it up here and drop it down in the description about my main reasons why I chose the Ultra over the Apple Watch Series 8 and why you should absolutely watch it if you're thinking about buying either of the two watches. Even though I am absolutely not a sports person, I don't run, I don't dive, I don't hike, I don't go to desert, I don't climb mountains, none of that. So probably half the features they really offer and advertise that you can, you know, put waypoints so you won't get lost in desert or none of that is going to be useful for me, the compass and things like that. But watch that video if you're torn between if you should get the Watch Series 8 or the Ultra and hopefully that would help you out and give you a different perspective to see why it's a really, really good deal and smart to consider getting the Ultra. The only thing I'm not sure about is if I'm gonna love the design. Just looking at the pictures, I'm not in love with it. But so this video is nothing but just a simple unboxing. See what's inside the box, what's the experience is like and my first impression of how I feel about the design, the weight, and the look of the watch. And if this is the first time you're stopping by, my name is Sean, this is my tech channel where I do unboxing reviews and tutorials of different tech stuff like this. So if you enjoy content like this, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button would mean a lot because putting these videos together, believe it or not, it does take a long time. So this is the Apple Watch Ultra with titanium case, which is the only configuration you can get and it comes with cellular so you don't have the option to get Wi-Fi only. 49 millimeter, again, the only size and I got the band in medium size and this is with Starlight Alpine Loop. Ooh. Ooh, this is fancy. I don't know if it's going to encourage me to go climb a mountain or it's going to make me feel bad that I don't. This is a very uh, fancy booklet we have at the top. So I give you a little bit of a selection. This is kind of like your catalog or owner's manual of some sort. Pretty cool. You know what? One thing I would say is they are pushing for these outdoorsy extreme sports women and men like that. I don't know how I feel about this because I really want to like this and use this, but I'm none of those people. But anyways, so we have two boxes. We have the band and the watch. Mm, let's start with the band. No, nope, let's start with the watch. No, nope, let's start with the band. So satisfying. All right, so you give you the instruction, how to put it on, how to strap. I first I wasn't sure if I'm gonna like not getting the orange band, but I do like this. It's very subtle. I think it goes very well with the titanium color. So let's set this aside for now. So the cable is braided, USB type C, and this is the watch itself. Right off the bat, I could tell you, I definitely feel the weight compared to my stainless steel watch. As a matter of fact, my stainless steel watch with the band is 0.15 pounds or 68 grams. And my titanium watch is 62 grams with no band. But look at the size difference. All right, enough talking. Let's open this up. You know what? I do like it. I wasn't sure how I feel about not having these round edges, but in general, I'm a big fan of having large uh, watches and watch faces. My watch is so dirty, but to kind of like put it to perspective, this is the titanium 49 millimeter versus a 44 millimeter stainless steel I really like this finish you know I'm not bad I do like this I can never figure out if this goes this way or that way so I do have a fairly big wrist and I think it's a very good size on my wrist but it feels 
a lot bigger on my wrist. It is noticeably bigger and there is no denying. Like it is thicker. I think being that much thicker and not having the edges rounded off, it also makes it feel that much uh, bigger on your wrist, but it is extremely and noticeably bigger and it's just screaming that I'm not your normal Apple Watch, even if people recognize this as an Apple Watch. But first impression, I do like it. I think um, it's just gonna take some time to get used to how thick it is. I think that's the first thing that jumps at me, not the size of the screen, but how thick the watch is itself. But here is your first impression and look at the Apple Watch Ultra. So that's been my first impression and after I finished shooting that segment when I was trying to move my camera and trying to take this off so to take some b-roll shot off of the uh, the watch then I had a couple other thoughts of it number one when I tried to take this band off uh, it's actually not a very seamless and easy process so I'm not a big fan of this this watch band and I much rather especially since I don't do any kind of you know extreme sports I'd rather to have these, you know, silicone bands on the watch, but it, it is just very, not very smooth. It's very bumpy. It gets stuck. The second thing I was going to say, the more I was watching and looking at this on my wrist, how bulky and big it seemed, I see this not being very easy to be able to rock if you have like a suit on and you're going somewhere very chic and classy and I still think my stainless steel could look nicer. Maybe it's gonna grow on me, but it just does not have that that classic and simple and elegant look, if that makes sense. So I just want to add those two points to my first impression, but my opinion can change. But that's been it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Let me know, what do you think about this new design? Do you agree or disagree with what I'm saying? And uh, I look forward to continuing the conversation in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.